the spouse of a worker is entitled to Social Security may claim as a spousal benefit. So currently, and we'll talk about this in a minute, about 85% of women are able to collect on their own benefit. They've worked. They have some kind of, of spousal or some kind of Social Security benefit for themselves. But when Social Security first started, that was not the case. The majority of uh, women claimed a spousal benefit and not a benefit on their own work record. So entitled means the worker is eligible for Social Security and is filed for benefits. So my husband and I are married. I've never worked. He's 62, but he hasn't claimed for benefits. Because he has not filed for benefits, I cannot claim a spousal benefit. I cannot claim a spousal benefit until he claims his. So that's what we're talking about here. So Jack and Jill are married. They're both 66 years old. Jack has paid into Social Security all of his life. His primary insurance amount, or PIA, is $2,400. Jill never worked. Once Jack files for Social Security benefit, Jill may file for her spousal benefit. Jill's spousal benefit, it will be 50% of Jack's primary amount, or $1,200. That's an easy one. Nice, straight, easy. So, primary insurance again, if we collect early, you're only going to get 35%, not 50% of his benefit or her benefit. So again, you're getting a deduction. And if you were born in this after 60 or later, you're only going to get 32.5%. So again, collecting early, if you're collecting a spousal benefit, is a reduction. You're already getting a reduction and only getting half the benefit, now you're getting another reduction here as well. Women in the workforce, I told you here, in the 1950s, only 30% of the women collected off their own work. Now we're seeing it close, close to 50 and the number's getting bigger. Women who qualify for Social Security on their own record, we see men, women, fully insured for Social Security benefits, fully insured for disability benefits. So we're now seeing it get much closer where um, both husband and wife or men and women are collecting benefit on their own record first. So rules for spousal benefits. A primary worker must have filed for his or her benefit. The spouse must be at least 62 years for reduced benefits of 35% or 66 for the full 50% of the benefit. Spousal benefit is based on the worker's primary insurance and not the actual benefit. We'll talk about what that means here in just a minute. <clears throat> no delayed credits on spousal benefits after full retirement age. So my husband were, decides not to collect his until 70. I do not get 50% of the amount at age 70. Remember, he was going to get the 8% increases. I'm only going to get 50% of his primary insurance amount, which is the amount he was eligible to collect at 66. So I don't get the benefit of those that extra 8% bump. So marriage requirement is approximately one year. It's a little bit less than that. And so what if a spouse is also entitled to Social Security on their own work record? So the spouse will receive the benefit on his or her work record first. So you're going to get money on yours first. If the spousal benefit would be higher, you're paid the additional amount to come up to the higher of the two. But you're going to get paid your benefit first, and then the additional to come up to the other amount. So here's our example. Jack and Jill again. They're still married. Jack is 66. Jill is 62. Jack's primary insurance amount is $2,400. Jill's is $800. Jack files for benefit at 66. She files at 62. Jill will receive her own reduced benefit, $600, or 75% of $800, and a spousal add-on of $280 for a total benefit of $880. Spousal add-on formula, $2,400 times 50% is $800, times the 70% equals $280, which is about 37.5% of his primary. Just so you know, you don't have to do these calculations. We will do them for you.